Hi, my name is Marco Morales. I'm a partner solutions architect at Sneak. And today I'm excited to talk about the Sneak IO integration with the Atlassian Bitbucket Cloud environment. So here what we have is a repository named Goof. At Sneak, we provide this open source example publicly available, and we give it the name Goof because it is a deliberately vulnerable application. I encourage you and your teams to check it out. I'll provide a link later. I do not recommend your teams put this in a production environment because it is deliberately vulnerable and you don't want to do that to your team. So this repo is on Bitbucket Cloud and your team would interact with it just like it does any other day. You check out code, you do pull requests, whatever you do, you're already comfortable and you're already doing those things. We've integrated Sneak, as you may see on the left side, as a tab within Bitbucket Cloud. Let's click into it and see what happens next. As an inline integration, your team's going to see the results of Sneak scanning your repository and presenting things here. We provide a nice uh, summary of 976 vulnerabilities, and we have some details over some files. I'll click into each of these in separate tabs because we're going to talk about those details. The first one's going to be the package.json file. The project we're working on is a Node.js application, and it happens to have some extra stuff like a Docker file and a build pipelines file. Here, what we do when you click into this file, you'll see, you'll see a summary and then all the details for the individual vulnerabilities for that file. We see we have 86 and they're sorted top to bottom from the most critical to the least. They're actually sorted by a sorting algorithm and you have the ability to click into this information button to see what is contributing to this sorting. We've done this and we draw attention to this. We've done this so that your teams can have an easier time to figure out what is the most important thing for me to work on. As you can see, this critical vulnerability is mature, which means it's been out for a while, and there is an available fix. This should be a strong signal to your team that it is important for you to review it. If you look at the details, you'll see what you would expect. We have a title, we have links to external databases for those who are really curious and want to know even better details. But what we've really provided that is huge value to the teams is we tell you what to do. If I highlight this text over here, you'll see that I'm indicating the vulnerable version, which is 047 and where it's fixed, 0411. At this point, most developers say, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna modify my file and change that version number. The extra stuff around there is valuable context, but this type of information makes it really easy for people to say, I believe Sneak and I know what to do next. The rest of the vulnerabilities follow the same pattern and I wanna show you the other file, which is the doc file. This example here is going to be around the code that you use that your team creates as well. Same kind of layout. We have over 800 vulnerabilities, a lot. And this is where the sorting helps your team the most because you know the most important ones are gonna be on top. Similar to before, we have external links. And then we also have these indications of what's vulnerable. The key here is most teams who are familiar and looped into Dockerfile examples will know this tracks to a base image. And here, the nice thing for those teams is when they see the version that they pay attention, they'll see it's just a minor point revision. This is helpful for teams because they'll say, I know that a point revision is not very complicated. It's low risk and I can do it straight away. Yes, we have a lot of detail and context around this. And yes, my team can go and figure it out. But most development teams are quite favorable to having this quick access and saying, just tell me what to do. And I believe the rest because I know what I have to do. I'll go back to the first file because I want to now dive into the sneak landing page to give you even more details. So the reason you go into the sneak is you'll, you'll click in this because you're curious, but other things is you may want to know what more do we provide to users? And I will come back to Bitbucket Cloud from this page. So here we have a synopsis, a summary of your project and a lot of things to help you filter and allocate things like tags and so on. Those things I encourage you and your team to figure out and just kind of see, oh, I can add a label to this. I can assign this to a, an environment or I can filter out for only critical or things that have fixes. This helps your team better triage and, and coordinate the work they're doing. You know best how you want to do it and we give you all these options. We're not going to do those filterings, but I do want to call it out for your team. I want to bring attention back to ADM zip, which is the file we saw for package JSON. And look at the same details. We see the versions 047 and 0411. We, you know, we, we see the same information. And I want to now describe how you have three options available to you. The first one is going to be this ignore. I don't recommend you ignore a critical vulnerability 
And we're not gonna do this for this demonstration. I will go show you how we can create a JIRA issue and then fix it with a pull request. I'll click into the JIRA issue and you are gonna see an experience that you already expect to see. And that is we have a nice form that has data already populated and you can do things like assign who's going to be responsible for doing the next work. This is really helpful for those teams because if they are managing their workload and their tasks through JIRA, they wanna do this. I'm not gonna create this issue because you may have already noticed that I already had one um, uh, clicked on and, and enabled over here. I'll click into it just to complete this picture, but you will see evidence that yes, we transferred this over and it kind of finishes that story that my team, we're really comfortable with Jira. I get it. I like it that Sneak lets us put this in our backlog for the next time around. I'll move back over here and show you another feature. So I mentioned earlier that developers know when they see this, like I know what I'm gonna change in my file. Why don't I just do this? But what we're gonna say is, why don't you take advantage of the sneak capability here for this file to fix this vulnerability? And we're gonna create a pull request. And there's two things here. I can fix all the vulnerabilities at once. That's a big ambitious task, which you're free to do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fix just one. I'll click on the button and we're gonna get a presentation screen that's gonna show us which file we're gonna modify in this pull request. What I like showing in this screen is only one file is checked and all the other ones are not. This is our message to you or signal to you that you have a chance because we, we know, we know what we're gonna fix. We can just do all these upgrades, but we're only gonna do one and I'll go ahead and create, oops, I'm at the bottom. I'm gonna create an open fix pull request. In a few seconds, what's happening is we create a branch, we create the pull request, we enter the text and then you, or someone on your team can review this per your own policies. And I'll show you some of the details that should come up in one second of how this is gonna work and help your team. So you see this, you have the right context, you're gonna have the right links, you're gonna have the right information so you or somebody else can work. But this is the part I like to show because it finishes the picture of what we're talking about. I had mentioned that developers already know, I know what line I'm gonna fix. But the value here is, you know, most people know that it's better to have something done automatically than someone typing it because there's always a chance of doing a typo, especially when this is plumbed into like a pipeline and you wanna get it working. Thank you very much for attending today's session. I really enjoyed presenting Sneak's integration into Atlassian Bitbucket Cloud. I hope you enjoyed watching our discussion about Jira, about pipelines, about Bitbucket and all that good stuff. I look forward to hearing from you. Again, thank you.